And we're back with part 7 of looking back at Halo Combat Evolved. We're on Assault on the Control Room. <laughs> the halfway point in the game. Mission 5. <laughs> What's up, little guy? Run! Now, this is an interesting case. This is one of the first examples I've noticed. Where oh, my copy in. of Combat Evolved, there's a noticeable difference between it and the Anniversary Edition. Obviously, you can still jump back into the seat of the Pelican if you want. But when I play Anniversary, if I jump into it, I can actually ride it all the way down to the bottom. Of oh, that I... shaft back there. When I, I play my that. original Combat Evolved version, I always yeah. did flipped out. Flipped out? Yeah, and when the Pelican in my... Original Combat Evolved version, I always get flipped out of the Pelican to send down the shaft. That's weird. Well, at uh, least, uh... I don't know exactly why that is. Very minute differences. I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, that's something so minute that when something gets as complicated in coding, which all video games are... Oh, yeah. Uh, that's why even when strange things that, that seem completely unconnected, I just usually accept that. Who knows? It's a complicated thing. Oh, I'm just, just I'm just looking at the needler, and I just remember about uh, the reloading of the needler. How there never really was like release. How you reload the needler? Oh, you just kind of shake it. Oh yeah, I saw this one mod though. You lift up the cover. And you just put a bit of uh, that purple blamite stuff inside, and then you shake it. But it was just a mod, but it is a cool idea. Well, there's only one level in the entire game that actually has, um, <laughs> Needler ammo reserves. Oh, yeah, isn't that... Yeah, well, in this yeah, game, that's the next that... level, actually. Oh, oh wait. Oh. He fell off the bridge. Ooh, next time you get, a, uh, you play, uh, a bit of, uh, Halo Anniversary, when you get the chance, if, uh, if one of the, uh, dead bodies goes off a cliff, I mean, halfway through a cliff and starts sagging, try to get some video of that. I want to show the people what I'm talking about. I'm sure, a lot, I'm sure a lot of them know, but, uh... Sometimes it's quite funny. Oh, yeah. Especially online. And I remember online, whenever you got headshotted, your, uh, Spartan would do, like, a couple... He'd spin around for a little bit, then just fall down dead. Yeah. You keep- you got in the habit of saying online. I mean, technically yeah. you could do, do that on the PC version, so I guess you're correct in a sense. Which one did you play more, the Xbox or the PC version? PC. Uh, okay. That's why you're in the habit. Uh... What was your- what was your experience? From what I've heard, the matchmaking was a little, um, unreliable. Actually, it was pretty good on, uh, on the- on the uh, computer. Oh, and man, people used to get pissed off mainly because uh, my online name was your penis. It was hilarious. Your penis committed suicide. You killed your penis. That's just completely the most mature thing I've ever. Heard. Oh yeah, that was back when I was like 13. So it was uh, pretty. So you were you were one of those kids that we talk about now, right? Oh no, I I actually played the game pretty well, and I wasn't like no scope, no scope. I was actually really good at video uh, playing uh, computer games at 13. Played some Ghost Recon. Ghost Recon was fun. But you still well, had one of you still had a name that was like one of those people. Oh yeah, those was, people. Those people. You know, I bet you Halo I could actually play on the PC even though I'm rubbish at PC shooters. Which oh, yeah, I know people who've played PC all their life and grew up on it would point out that that shows that I'm horrible at video games because PC PC shooting is the truest test of your aptitude, but I admit it. I well I will add a side note to that. The only PC shooters that I've tried as of recently have been Planet Side Two and oh what was the other one? I forget what the other one was. But however that is an aim down the site PC shooter. So, combine the fact that I'm not that great with PC sh shooting, and I'm horrible at aim down sight shooting, and you just have a recipe for disaster. Ah. Uh. And, and that elite saw me before I even had a chance to go through the whole area stealthy. 
Yeah, that little bugger is the reason why I couldn't do this level stealthily. Oh, oh, but this is funny. Yep, they didn't hear anything. Did you hear that? No, I didn't. Of course you did. The jackals didn't even notice me. Oh, but I guess somebody did. Oh, now they hear the gunfire from across the room. And every time I remember these, I pointed them out. In the structure right above me, there are vent covers. Do you get up into them? You get yourself another skull. Oh yeah, random human skulls. Oh, I've always wondered. I think it was this level where there was this, uh... This really weird contraption thing. It's got light. It's got, like, electricity flowing down the middle, and it was just the... Oh yeah. It's really... They have they have a different setup in almost every one of these rooms. Now, this is the stage that people most often complain about with Halo having um reusing level, like reusing pre rendered pieces. Just like construction blocks. They built levels out of construction blocks. This is the level uh. people mostly complain about. Well and obviously the fact that Yes, yeah, technically you do repeat three levels of the game. Um, this level, slash due betrayals, truth and reconciliation, slash keys, and pillar bottom, slash mob. Which is a lot of the game, but they do, maybe I'm just biased, but they do all feel different to me. They do. I well, mean, you get to see Especially, one thing being is that each time you revisit, it's just not the covenant, this is the flood. And by the time you reach, actually, all three revisits, you've already, you're already an uh, enemy against the Sentinels too. So both factions get included. Granted, there are no Sentinels on keys. Ah, uh, Master Chief, not even one week, and already three different races hate you. Actually, if you notice back there, that Marine pretty much took a wraith mortar right in front of his face and actually survived. What happened to those Marines? But the Marines that. I mean, oh, it must have been ju like you can see the scorch mark in front of the rock. <laughs> That's where it hit, and the marine was like right next to the rock. Somehow he survived. Yes, and he lived on to be named Pete Stacker. <laughs> yeah, the marine that somehow. I love. That's one thing I did find humorous. Though I'm sure people oh. who are lore nuts probably drove them crazy because, like, they actually explained. Because they decided to make Johnson a major character in the later games. Uh, how Johnson survived the ring exploding, but oh, yeah, they never explained it? how the uh, the Australian guy, whose name I still forget, and Pete Stacker survive. <laughs> uh, well, wasn't uh, Johnson spoiler alert? Wasn't it uh, like uh, the legendary ending was actually just uh non-canon ending. Yeah, they just, after they decided to write Johnston into more fiction, they, uh, they just said that that was a, that was a, just a humorous ending. Which, if oh, you think about it, uh, it was always pretty humorous. I mean, uh, in both versions funny of the that... game, you, especially in this one, because they had a face, a face animation, uh, for some reason, it, they're, uh, one of them always clenches the other one's butt. Oh yeah, in the, uh, in the, um, all, uh, the normal the, uh, combat of all, yeah, the old one, the for some reason does. the elite's hand would droop down and grab Johnson's ass, but uh, in this, one, in this game the Johnson around. goes for the reach around. And, and then and then his face goes like, oh. I mean that's such <laughs> an awkward happened. thing to talk about, but it shows that it's just supposed to be humorous. Get up, so I kill you again. Damn it Johnson, you're so awesome. <laughs> yeah, somebody pointed, I don't know, maybe we'll be free. Look at that Marine. It's pointed what out that um, that's obviously Johnson's voice and character. But if you think about it, he's with Captain Keys right now. He's got a brother, Jackson. Uh, it's just a case of the, um... Yeah, Look I just took a race to hit to the face. Lost the guy. Look at that trooper of a soldier. He's one-handing his sniper rifle. <laughs> and that ghost just flew right over the tank completely. I remember back in Halo 1, well, Well, yeah, this that's game. Johnson. He's boss- I, I, I'm sorry. The Johnson Club. He's bossing. Yeah, Jackson. Jackson. Johnson and Jackson. John Jackson and Jack Johnson. I thought his name was, uh... Every Junior Avery? Johnson! Oh, no, 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 that's the original. Yeah, Jack Johnson died with the, uh, when the actually, color volume exploded. Actually, and the... I have to explain this story. When I first played Halo 2, I had not read First, um... First Strike. 
I had not read First Strike. I hadn't read. I had actually didn't read First Strike for till years later. When uh, Johnson comes in, and uh, he's uh, Matt, the Master Gunnery Sergeant, asks how he got back home in one piece, and he goes, "It's classified." I actually thought they cloned Johnson. <laughs> I swear that was my theory. That's what I thought they were implying. Sorry, guns. It's classified. I don't know Wait, why I thought of that. Wasn't the sergeant that he was talking to Pete Stacker? Uh, it's not the same voice, from what I recall. It's not the same guy. I'm pretty sure. It sounds like Stacker. Well, they but, might uh, use the same voice, they might use the same character, but, you know, uh, they only have so many people they use. We'll just call them semi-main character clones. I mean, the only thing we know them by is they call them... Well, Johnson only calls them... Master Guns. Master Guns. And the, uh... And the mission, the objectives for the tutorial portion that that is. Just calls him Fall, the Gunnery Sergeant. So he's... So he he's some Gunnery Sergeant. But that's all we know. Because he dies. But he did go out with a shotgun. You know what, I like to... I'm gonna make it... I'm gonna make it so that every uh... There's actually a an ammo deposit. There's a bunch of dead marines over on the on the other side of the gorge from me on the left side. But the left side being from the direction I was facing when I said that. I hadn't found that one for the longest time because it's kind of out of the way. Yeah, if you're Man, low on you ammo or rockets. You know those that you come in were smart? Hey, let's dodge it by diving right into it. Well, that was the grunt, so... Well, I think the Elite did the same thing. Alright, we're coming to an end here. This is, this mission is gonna be in three episodes, people. It's that wow, long. Look bad. It's one of the longest that stages is... in the game. That Marine is still badass, one-handing a sniper. He is the name. His name is... Jackson. Luke Jackson. John Jackson. To be continued.